Welcome back to March to Orbit, where we're just looking at advanced biological capsules and, and trying to figure out how to get actually something in them. So, um, yeah, last time we did we did a couple of missions. We we got a bit of science. We spent a bit of science. We're actually we're actually on our way to getting to orbit. I think I think uh, it is now just a matter of time in in my mind. Um, but before that, what we want to do is get uh, is get some get some more science sort of built up, and we also want to get some more money. Money is is going to be king for us. So we're just going to, um, in fact, you know, I'll do this again. I'm going to try and put this together. We're going to try and have a uh, a little a little craft we're going to put together. Um, so there we go. What's this actually now? This is it's still not enough. Okay, right. Let's make it let's make it wider. There. How does that look? Is that is that looking uh, tanky, white place? 150, still not perfect. Okay, I can see where this is going. I can see where this is going. I'm going to put that out a bit. What about this now? Tanky, white place. One set, still not, still not working. Okay, let's go. Uh, 175, uh, 3175. There we go. What about that? Is that is that going to work for me? No, still not working. Um, let's put a little bit more height in it then. Let's make it one uh, 175. Now I've just realized I'm still using the, the steel separate tech right pressurized tanks. Can you put sounding payload in the other ones? I can't remember. Doesn't really matter though. Doesn't really matter. Right, tank UI. Right, we need 200. So we'll just put it at 200, not 2000. 200, there we go. And then I think that is actually positioned correctly. So let's just check. No, we can actually move this down a bit. Okay, because we've increased the height a little bit. So I'll just do that, gives a bit of that. Um, yeah. I always like to have a bit of my biological capsule sticking out. I always, uh, ooh, hello, that's new. Why are you, why are you clipping through there? Why are you clipping through? That's separate. Why are you clipping through there? Right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a save and reload on this one because this sometimes happens. So we're gonna save it and then we're gonna open it again. So do that and load it. There we go. Now we'll pull this out. And what sometimes happens is when you do the minor changes like this, you get, I find this anyway, you get some of the, um, some of the little attachment points are not quite right. There we go. That's, that's perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. Right. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to make this smaller because, uh, it is annoying. So, uh, first of all, check it. Yes, it does that. We're going to go for previous size. We're going to make it nice and small. There we go. Uh, like that. That's, that's nice. And then um, I'm going to just see, can we make wanted twitch down speed? Let's make it seven. Um, let's make it seven. Let's make it, uh, where's this? Wanted twitch down speed, seven. I'm just, we, we don't mind going a little fast. That's that's fine. Um, apply the settings. Uh, application of parameters is okay. Okay, we come back out of there. So that's our that's our pod. There we go. Does this fit in the fairing? It, it does just. How why this fairing obviously was designed for the camera. Okay, so we've got engines fired, da, 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 that goes, that goes, that goes, wonderful, perfect. Now, one other thing that we need to start doing with these is this thing can have some more, ooh, I can operate it, I can improve it. Do I want to? We're building it anyway, I might as well. Um, zero, say 800, apply that. Close that right. I need to have these turned. Uh, I need to have those turned on. But we can. Can we get some more science? Is there, is there more science available to us? Is the question we're asking ourselves. Mass spec is available. That's good. That takes two hours. In, in. Uh, oh, you can actually do landed in biomes. I'm guessing that doesn't give you anything. Flying high, flying space. So we will get some science out of it. And I think that's it. Yeah, we we've just got the just got the one. So we'll just do that. Okay. So there's that done. That's wonderful get that done save that that's oh it's going to cost me a fortune a tool isn't it uh how much is it going to cost it's not terrible um the reason i'm doing it is because we've actually upgraded the uh the avionics and that means that we've now got as tooled avionics of of s2 of the uh, science 2 level so it will mean that that nice wide oh look i've done the selecting launch pad thing again um that nice wide avionics will hopefully help in future if you use that again but anyway either way we'll we'll see what happens um, I'm gonna, uh, I'll do, I'll do two of those. You never know. We'll see. We'll see how fast this thing can actually get before we do anything else. All right. Let's have a look. See what missions we have got. Okay. Mission control tells me we've got that one. We don't. Ha now I wonder if that only becomes available once you finish the last of the biological. I think 
I think that had gone, hadn't it? I think we'd done our last biological and then that appeared. So I was trying to figure out what triggered that. I suppose I could look in there, but I just, yeah. Um, we've got this one to do, which I don't think we can actually do. I don't think we can go up to 200 and get 600 downrange. Um, it's tight. If we put a second stage on, I think we could, because our downrange uh, launch vehicle I know was, was tight for that. Hello, how are you doing? Right. And this is uh, 630, 500. That's going to be outside of our range, I think. So what about this? Um, this is possible. This is possible. And it's not doing it. So that's 22,000. This is uh, 20, 23, 24,000. This isn't worth it. So we're going to go for the advanced biological suborbital, I think. We'll do that. How long have we got to do that? Uh, oh, we've got a good bit of time for building. So we'll do that. We'll see how that goes. I think we can make that. Um, and then what we will do is I will probably edit this to put something in. In fact, let's do that now. Let's edit that now. Right, so the edit that we're making is really simple. I just need to find, I need to find the, oh, it's up here. Is it up here? There we are. We just need to put in a new piece of science equipment. That's all. Uh, it'll cost us a bit of money, but let's have a look at it. One, four, four, eight. Yeah, there we go. One. So it's added a little bit. And it's taken a little bit of our build time away, but I'm not massively annoyed by that. So we'll save the edits. All right, so edit saved, and we are ready to rock. So we're going to move you back up to number two. Um, those are going to be okay for now. I might, yeah, I'm going to duplicate you at the bottom because we'll want that. Good extra ones. So we're going to try and do this one. So let's let's rush through, get our launch pad reconditioned, get through that. What's our tech doing? So we're gonna have a satellite era material science soon, which will give us those integral tanks. So I will have the engines and I believe the integral tanks to go with it. No, I won't, I'll need the orbital rocketry first. Um, but we'll we'll be on the end, the brink, the brink of being able to put together pretty much an orbital rocket at that point. All right, so there we go, that's done. Uh, let's launch it, I think. Now this, this I hope will work. Oh, and I didn't realize it was a night launch. So let's bring up this thing. I have about 11 and a half minutes left of this episode. We're almost at halfway through it. Obviously, it will be a different length when it comes out because we cut out all of the little black screens in between. Um, if we do moon missions, that could be quite interesting because it might only get a five minute, five minute sort of uh, episode. Right, let's have a look. We've got everything we need to. We've got to go 140. We'll get 2000 minutes per second. I think we do that. Whether it's got to be at when we're above there, I don't know. That's the only problem I have. So we're going to go, we're going to go straight to the old, the old standard sort of approach. We're going in the correct direction as we always should. Uh, fire the engines and let's go. All right. So what do I want to do? <clears throat> do I want to get altitude first, or do I want to start turning over quickly? I don't know. Let's get the speed up a bit because we don't. We work on speed too. That's how we roll. I'm going to start turning. Yeah, I'm going to start turning. I'm going to try and get us. <clears throat> uh, moving okay, I think. Yeah, I think sideways. Sideways is king. We uh, we need that sideways velocity because we're gonna we're losing velocity every second at the moment because we're fighting gravity and and air resistance. But gravity is gonna kill us. So there we go. We're getting across. <clears throat> Let's see. I'd really like to get down to to being actually flat. Would be perfect. Um, but I don't think we will. I think we'll be doing like a forty five degree climb for much much of the way. Um, there we go, down to 45. Because I have to get over that 140. That's the, the killer, isn't it? Um, I think we're going to get over the 140. Yeah, we are. So I'm going to I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to pull it down all the way now to, to zero. There we go. <clears throat> so now we're just burning sideways. Oh, and there we go. Now, our surface velocity is fast enough. Ah, now it's accepted that. Now, is that going to come off when I go above above the, the timeline. That's gonna be the interesting thing. We're gonna slow it down just as we get to 140. Because you can see our surface velocity. Now it could be our orbital velocity, it's calculating. So are we gonna beat it? That's the question. Again, the big issue for this is if we put another, we, we can't do the next step of this. I know we can't because you need to be, I think 3000 and this craft will not do it. We could do it with our next booster and yeah, there we go. So we, we did it. We, we, we were actually not too far off. Another 500 meters per second and we'd, we'd actually have it. Um, we can get rid of the fairings at this point and we can actually detach everything. And um, we did we turn it on? Did we turn? Is it actually collecting biological science? I bet we didn't. Yeah, that would that would be that is embarrassing, isn't it? Well done. Well done us. Well done. Brilliant. Did we actually turn this on as well? I bet we didn't. Yeah, we didn't turn that on. That's 
That's not at all embarrassing, is it? No, that's not at all embarrassing. No, not at all. All right, we're gonna, we'll get like a minute uh, instead of the hours that we actually want. We're gonna get pretty much no science from this. It's, it's gonna be nothing. I think we're gonna get what, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 from that. There's nothing else coming in. Um, have we actually done, we've got all the thermometers and everything done, so yeah. Um, I don't believe this does uh, low earth. Does it do low, low, sorry, flying high, flying high. Do you do flying high? Oh, you do do flying high, one hour. So you get two hours flying high, okay. Do you do flying high? You don't. So so that's pretty pointless. So um, we'll arm the parachutes and this thing's going to come down in the dark because, you know, why, why would we want to fly in the light for YouTube compression joy? Um, let's, let's just speed this up. Now, is this going to rotate and orientate itself in the desired direction is the next question I have. I have a horrible feeling it is not. Yeah, it's coming in backwards. <laughs> We're coming in backwards. Okay. And this thing is a little heavier. It does have, oh, there's the rocket exploding. I think it just, yeah, we just went through its debris. So luckily we don't have our parachutes open. It's now going to carry it, carry on past us. Right. So we did, we did this one. We've done the advanced biological suborbital experiment. That's wonderful. Um, the design is bad. Let me just say that now, um, possibly because that's got a flat end there. I'm not entirely sure. Um, possibly because the weight is too high. I don't know. It should be maybe flatter. Um, I don't know. I, to be fair, at these speeds, it doesn't really matter. Even 3000 meters per second, this would actually survive. So it would be very much a case of um, what what do we want to change? What would, you know, what, do we want to, um, do we want to actually try and put another craft together, put some boosters on this? We could potentially, do we, I don't think we have solids, so we can't put solids on this because that would be the ideal thing to put a little solid underneath, spin stabilize and fire the solid just as we get to our uh, burnout. And that would give us a massive push, particularly if we were horizontally, we would, we would probably do it. Um, so there we go, we're flopping around. We're gonna just uh, pop ourselves to slow-mo when we hit the ground because uh, we don't wanna crash and destroy things as always. Ah, now we're coming in at eight. So we dropped these parachutes down to seven and they're now going to eight. Okay, so it's accurate then, is it? Yeah. And there we go. Splash down. Yay. Bobbing like crazy. Right, let's get that. Recover normally. No, I'd really like to recover you. Recover normally. Thank you. We're actually under, we're sinking. Right, so we got a little bit of science out of that, up to five. Does that give us the ability to, to, to do another science? I think it's seven I need, is it? Seven. So we need a little bit more science. So let's go science hunting. We're going to put this thing in. I have about five minutes left on this episode, so we can try and rush this one through. This is going to be a rough launch, I think. And get it onto the pad, get it going. This is going to be, this is going to cost us money to launch. We've got 170,000 now. And yes, I'm not spending any on upgrade points because I need the money. I need the money for the engines and all that sort of stuff that's coming along. Because hard mode is, is actually quite hard. Um, right, we're going to launch. No, cancel that, actually. We're going to launch in the daytime. Give me the daytime. Thank you. Now I want to launch. That's better. Yeah, it's better for me. It's better for everybody. Right. We are at exactly five minutes. And within a click of our fingers, we go from five minutes to four minutes, 30 seconds. How how exciting is that? That's, that's what this series is all about. The time that you don't get to see because it vanishes. That's right. Now, I have just realized that I may not have turned on the... Um, I'm going to try and do a focus view uh, in camera at that parachute. Yeah, that's right. Right. I may not have turned on the, uh, the biological sample. Right. That's on. Okay. What about what about the uh, what about this thing? Is this on? That is not on. So we need to turn that. Get okay, Get on. Right. So where are we going? Um, I'm going to launch this at uh, minus ten again. That's what we're going for. We're going to go up. We don't actually have a requirement to do anything other than just get science on this mission. So this is this is whatever I want. Uh, there we go. Decouple, fire, launch. So I'm going to just fly this up a bit. We'll fly it up, see what science we can gather. I do believe there is science still to be had. Uh, we'll hit it on speedy up a bit and we'll start to turn. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So we should be gathering science as soon as we get above 40 kilometers is what I'm hoping. Um, and we should be going, you know what? Let's go a bit faster. <laughs> let's go speed three. Speed three is all, all we, all we, all we want to play. That's right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't, I can't, I can't even click fast enough to bring the nose down. Right. Here we go. Uh, I want to get down to 45 and then we're going to hold it at 45 um, a bit. 
and then I'm going to drop it actually to 40. I think I'm going to drop to 40. Yeah, we'll drop to 40 because I don't mind getting high altitude sort of science and stuff at the moment. That's not a killer for me. There we go. 200. That's a nice, that's a nice downrange. Right. And then I want to get rid of those fairings like that. There we go. We've got this induced roll. And this often happens, I've noticed, when you're on physical time warp. You get this. It's almost like the air resistance is a bit more effective. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. So we'll go for parachute is armed. And uh, we're going to decouple. And we're going to just, uh, let's have a look. What are we doing? What are we doing for science, right? That's running. That's good. We've got the biological sample running. Is this running? That is running as well. That's going to get us some science. Uh, what about the stuff under here? We are getting a bit of the uh, this thing as well. That's good, right? So now we can just we can just speed across there, and, we, and it, you can actually see we've got um what's that? Oh, we've run out of storage. Is that right? No storage space. Oh, that is interesting. So we ran out of storage space in the camera. Wow. Really? How did that happen? We ran out of storage space in the camera that quickly. That that cannot be right. I mean, that seriously cannot be right. Let's have a look. Um, two credits, nothing. Ah, flying high. We got we've got loads of data from flying high over the water, but. That's interesting. So we've got we've got quite a bit, but you don't get much for credit wise, do you? Got a lot from the biological, okay. And then from this, well, we're transmitting it as we go. So that's that's just happening. And we're also getting some of the uh, the other stuff as well, which is temperature. Where's that from? That's from the forest. Okay. Right. So let us speedy this down, I think. Um we have about 45 seconds. So I don't know actually if we're going to land this thing in this episode. It could be, oh, there's the rocket going. There's the rocket exploding into pieces. We're slowing down nicely. Oh, good. We're coming down the right way as well. Um, temperature to transmit. No science gain. We already had this data. Oh, that's because it's flying low over the forest. Wonderful. Then don't don't transmit it then. Just stop doing it. I mean, why, why waste my time? Seriously. Right. Um, I think we've got about 20 seconds. I'm going to let this land in in this uh, in this end credit scene potentially or between episodes because it's not a perfect time to pause the game, shall we say. So I'm going to say to you now as we come through the atmosphere with four seconds left from me until next time, have a great one. <laughs>